Hi, good afternoon. Hello, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, I know most of uh, you guys are uh, probably like uh, busy today, either hosting and preparing food at your home or probably heading somewhere to meet family and friends. So um, I just wanted to hop on and do a quick go live. I promise it's gonna be like short and sweet. Uh, just to talk a little bit about gratitude. Uh, there is no better day to talk about uh, gratitude and um, reflect on all the blessings that we had throughout the year um, on Thanksgiving Day. I mean, it should be something that we reflect on daily, but on Thanksgiving, I cannot stop myself or prevent myself from uh, just being uh, so... Uh, hi, Azza. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, just reflecting on how grateful and, and how blessed I am throughout the year and every year actually of my life. So why why should we be grateful? Like why should people be, hi Saria, hi how are you dear, thank you for tuning in. So why should we be grateful? Gratitude is something that everybody should be doing during their daily life. It's something that we should incorporate in our daily life. It, it keeps us positive, it keeps us always focusing on the good things that we have in life. It's very easy to be trapped in what we lack or what we miss, right? And it always leaves you with negativity and with um, feelings that you're not comfortable about. So being grateful, the first thing that it does, it always keeps you positive. It always keeps you... Uh, happy Thanksgiving to you too, thank you. Hi, Lila. Hi, thanks, you, can, thanks for tuning in. Uh, so being grateful always helps you to be positive and always help you to look at the good thing, the good side of things. Um, it's even um, proven, like as a health benefit, that it, it, it boosts your happiness hormone, which is the dopamine. When you're grateful, you always feel more happy. So this is why we always have to look at the bright side. We always have to look at the half cup full, not the half cup empty. If you just think throughout the years how many blessings did you have how many things that you have taken for granted and many other people maybe don't have or wish they have what you had you're gonna find multiple things you're gonna find hundreds and maybe thousands of things that you take every day as granted and many people look at this as a blessing or as a gift that they wish they have it for themselves um i was listening to a podcast one day and and it was just like um it caught my attention because it was talking about how how the same thing or how the same situation can happen to two different people and they are looking at it from two different perspectives so it was saying like two people were in prison and they were looking outside from behind the jail bars so they are both in prison in a cell apparently and they are looking behind the jail bars one of them was looking at the mud he can only see the mud and the other one was looking up in the sky and he can see the stars so it's very important to see who you are, which person are you? Are you just focusing on the dirt and the mud and the negativity and the things that you're missing or the things that you don't want to have in your life? Or are you looking up and focusing on the positive things, on the things that you are having and taking it for granted? So that's really like, it was a game changer for me. What are you looking at in your life? And are you counting your blessings or not? Um, another thing is also um, gratitude is not something that you do and then for some time and you forget about it. I, from personal experience, when I started having gratitude as embedded in my daily life and in my daily activity, it becomes just a way of life. It becomes your lifestyle. It's not something that you just thank God for the food on the table and then you just you know, move on. No, you have to consistently think of everything that you're doing and be thankful and grateful. Like the minute I open my eyes, I just thank God that I'm still alive. When I step on the on the ground, I just feel grateful for my health and that God gave me enough health to get up and, and, and you know, like work and serve my family and just enjoy the day. Um, before you go to bed at night, just think of anything positive that happened to you, anything that you're grateful for. And it's really about perspective. Again, it's how, hi, hi, Noel, how are you? Um, so it's really how you look at things. Like um, I had a, a simple example that happened to me like a few days ago. Like my husband, usually he gets off work at five. 
and um, he called me after he, he finished work and he said like his car is not starting and the battery was dead. So he said, I'm going to be late. Just don't wait for me for dinner. Correct. And then he started calling his um, insurance company, like the roadside assistance. And then um, it just, it didn't come on time. And the ETA kept on, you know, like every time he looks on their app, like they are not coming on time. So he decided to call like the dealership to try to send him somebody. He didn't have a jump start in the trunk, so that's why. Anyway, long story short, between both the, the roadside assistance company and the dealership, nobody showed up until nine, okay? So uh, until I ended up like, you know, driving and taking the jump start to him and then we went back home around 10.30. So some people can look like, what a day, like, he spent five hours, you know, just, and he couldn't leave the car because they can, they could have arrived at any time, right? So anyone can just look in a negative way. Like he stuck five hours after a long working day, instead of going home, taking a shower, like, you know, having some rest or eating dinner or like, you know, just doing whatever he wanted. He was stuck for five hours in the car, which is not something really good. But I looked at it in a different way. I was so grateful that this has happened because I don't know why it happened on that day at that time, but maybe God prevented something wrong that might have happened if he hit the freeway right after work. He, God might have prevented him from having a fatal accident. So for me, even if he spent five hours, you know, on the road or in the car, stuck in the car, this is for me, at least I look at something positive in a negative situation. And I try to think of the good side. I'm, at least I'm happy that he made it back safe and sound to home. Even if it's five hours late, you just like, it's something that may be inconvenient, but there is always something good that you can find in anything in life, in any situation, even if it's negative. So I urge you to all start looking at the positive sides of anything that happens to you. Even if it seems negative, there is a lesson and there is something that if you train your mind to look at whatever pos po positive, you will find something to be grateful for. Believe me. Uh, another thing is how to be grateful. It depends and it differs from one person to the other. Some people like uh, meditation or like, you know, grounding themselves. Some people like um, to journal, like, you know, write down every day, like the things that they are grateful for. So there are many different ways that you can, you know, stay focused on being grateful and expressing your gratitude. There are multiple things. So you get to pick what you feel comfortable with. I usually, like sometimes, some days I have my gratitude journal. Sometimes uh, I'm lazy and I don't do it. And the only thing that I feel constantly works for me is in my mind. That it's, I embed the gratitude within my life day in, day out. It's, it's in this headspace between my two ears. It's in my mind and I always try to be grateful about everything and anything that happens to me. Whatever God, you know, like throws at me, I'm always grateful for it. Uh, so this is what I found. It, it really like helps and works for me. And um, also I wanted to um, like tell you about something or share about something that I have always thought that uh, being grateful is the same thing as being thankful. But actually when I read about the two words, um, they are different. When you are grateful, that means you are grateful for whatever God gave you already, all the blessings that you had in, you know, in your life. This is what you're grateful for. But being thankful is different. Being thankful means you are thankful for the blessings that you expect to have in the future. Uh, whether it's more health, it's more success, it's, it's more like whatever it is. Being thankful is like that you are telling God or like the universe that I'm expecting more good and more good things coming my way and you're thankful for it. So again, this is for me was um, like another thing that I'm, I'm trying to always be attentive to and trying to always incorporate it in my daily life. And I cannot tell you how much it changed me to become more positive person and more looking at the bright side of everything. So I wish you um, all happy Thanksgiving today and um, I wish that um, everyone and each one of you um, have a good day uh, with uh, your family, with your loved ones. Uh, don't take anything for granted and always count your blessings and always be grateful. There is always, always something to be grateful for, even in your worst day in your life, even if it's so dark. There is always stars in the sky. Just try to be mindful and try to look at what brings you uh, gratefulness in your life and 
brings you positivity and i'm sure you're gonna find a lot of hope happy thanksgiving everyone and see you soon